<laughs> Tonight's event is about to begin. Please make your way to the prep room. Hey, you have water, right? I got water. I drank water, but I don't have active water. <laughs> I drank water. I drank like three glasses of water. Um, drink up water. Come here. Sorry, but I'm about to go. Mine's bigger. I'm gonna hold up on that fight because we're about to listen to it. It's a very soothing voice and fun to you guys. You're right. You say it like we haven't been here for about a year. Come on. You didn't think we are new to some of the people. And sometimes veterans have errors to fight. Yes, hello. I forget if it was you or an Ozumi that I offered help on a prize. You know, all you're feeling is just uh, metal helmet, right? Yes. You're smearing my sunglasses! Stop! You say feeling that I have metal helmet? I just wanted to help, though. Check, though, I mean. What are they gonna feel? I've been anticipating this moment. Have robotic uh, arms. I've been looking for all the new data. I've been looking for all the memory so banks it's not like since the day I came. So basically, it's just glue paint. <laughs> on my helmet. Yes, it's like nails on a chalkboard. <laughs> ever since, ever since I saw the boop. Ever since, ever since the Oh, looks like they crashed. We lost C. I think she's transfer. I think she's transferring into actual VR and Alpha. Oh, I don't know. <laughs> that was on your back. I got my trump card ready. Go back to the skin before. Go back to the skin Five, four, like two three, <laughs> two, two, remember that time? One. Um, <laughs> Bravalos, yeah, your attention, it's please. It's like a fucking Bravalos, it's like a fucking pixelated it's sensor bar. I beg of your silence. It's a fucking sensor bar. <laughs> it's a it's it's cool. fucking sensor bar. Tonight's event is about to begin. It's beginning. Please make your way. Listen to Sheen oh. between guys. We are beginning. Thank, thank you. Yeah. Kindly <laughs> remain silent. <laughs> and welcome. Your enthusiasm is contagious. <laughs> it seems you've met with an uncertain fate. You find yourself at an interdimensional crossroad. A mm -hmm. rendezvous of travelers between worlds. Mm -hmm. Where should I tell that? I was traveling a parallel universe. <laughs> In this place, you will experience stories that draw and evoke emotions. With a wave of words, a reader is given infinite potential to create a narrative within their own headspace, private and held dear in their own image. On the shores of your creation, <laughs> wills are born, limited by your own private fancy. A single soul can create 10,000 stories, and all of them brimming with mortal individuality. But these narratives, however brilliant, only shine the brightest when their limits are broken. How does one Free the limits of an inner world. The answer is simple. We invite our friends to travel with us. 
My friends, we are VR travelers. We create immersive story-based tours with original writing, beautiful worlds, voice acting, and wholesome team effort. Welcome to the rendezvous, our point of contact to the narrative domain. For a cult. Welcome to the story of the pilot. My name is Sheen, and I will be your guide tonight. In a moment, I will, oh, I will drop an invite plus portal to the world of the pilot. Please, at this time, make sure you are friends with someone else here in case you disconnect and need to be invited back in. You are welcome to add us tour guides if you are experiencing problems getting into the world, or freely, if you wish. My friends, it is recommended you turn off avatars of everyone except the guides if you are experiencing lag. Now, we will open the gate. The observer artifact is carefully watching. Now, to the it's world of the pilot, my friends. Wait for Everyone my signal before you enter the portal. Everyone in front spread out the way so there's room. <laughs> the oh, front open. <laughs> we'll save you. Ah, there it is. That was short lived song. My friends, the portal is stable. You may enter. It's just like a live, um, play, like, it has, like, voice acting and stuff in it. Yeah. <laughs> it's like, it's like, it's a movie in real time. Think of it as, like, a, like, a, a movie in real time. No, I wouldn't fuck with him against Sally. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's just going. Like, the, uh... Because, like, they, this is, like, all searched it and stuff, and I think they spend, like, a lot of time on this. And I really would go bad at it. It's just fucking it. Because we can handle falls. The world is destructive. Another thing I probably 
You can do a lot of this. Please, please, for like the entirety of this, don't. If you can do me that solid, please, I will give you early access to the. I will give you early access to the dire skin with this. I did some research on the oh, other side. I don't give a shit about the ice tits. No! Give me something like that I really want. Give me a fucking tooth tooth. No, it's, the, it's the actual. It's like, it's like, it's like, it's gonna be all of the actual um, porn art of the Yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna shorten my video. I get free access on that anytime I want. I've checked, I've researched your frame. Yeah, but that means you can look at the ice That means you can, you can be him in that form and you can terrorize him whenever he plays the arch axe. Yes, yes. I don't care. I don't care. I don't care. Give me a full head. Can you give me a full head set? I'll join. I'll behave. Can you give me a full head set? Huh? A full fear head set? A max fear? Steam Dude, I don't have the money for that. Look at Astro. He can hook you up. Astro can hook you up. Parents hook him up. That's what. Especially on Christmas. What? I know you have any research. Yo. Kelly, it'll be time for you to upgrade your current computer. Ten thousand. Going both. Welcome. I won't let you down. Going good, boss. We never do. She never do. Look at this. So I figured out heads up, I figured this is going to be a pretty intense disappearing. You know, uh, this is going to be a pretty intense adventure. Him. Like I said, we're, we're, we're all in another all good. The other VC to keep, to keep contact so we don't interrupt. Fucking conversations. I can't remember. Wait. Are you the one that doesn't like boobs? Why am I not surprised? No boobs, no head pads. So yeah, if you guys want to communicate, we're going to be in the other, we're going to be in that well, Discord. Course. You're going to be more free smack. Maybe I'll we don't want to interrupt the uh, tour at the time. No, you're fine. No. <laughs> Yay. Okay, so just that's why we sent the invite, so we don't... People do it anyways. It's been hours. It's up to you. You don't have to join if you don't want to. Honestly, I might still be sending the invite. Yeah, no, it's gonna be a very intensive ad adventure. It's probably smarter to literally hide everyone else's avatar and only only allow the DM's avatar to show. So it's probably gone. Right. Right. Yep. That's a shame. Maybe. Maybe. We'll do more Fucking research. Where's going on with your avatar? Your origins. Oh, I mean, I'm, I'm not going to see the performance of this. Sure <laughs> <hell. laughs> <laughs> I'm not forcing you, man. You're free to leave all you want. That's because of how you're made. Us cashews usually have a lot of things to forget. Yeah, that's a. Uh, don't worry about that. Do nothing. I've done some snippets of my own. Hold on, you're like. I how do you Five, move it? Four. I just do three. Looks like it's starting. Two. Imagine having full blood. One. <sighs> oh wait, what? Travelers, welcome to the world of the pilot. Our event will now begin. Mal, how do I hide avatars, dude? Yes, I do recommend you hide avatars in your safety settings if you are experiencing lag. Also, travelers, at this time, kindly check your world music. Please turn it up to where you can clearly hear the wind. So what you'll do, you'll go to music is an important part of this story. On, and you'll put mm. avatar. Oh, I'm sorry, you'll put it on maximum. My friends, this is a story-based tour, and as with any tour in the real world. We kindly ask that you remain silent during narration. However, you are oh, very no. much encouraged to talk as we walk from place to place, as talking and working together is the only way to save them. Now, my friends, let us begin this story of hope. This legend. Please use you will see the yellow it. save point behind it into me. So, while we were away outside this home, why don't you explain to me your old home? Bit? And say you remain uh, behind the tour guide. 
Oh, fuck it. Just go on like fucking. I'm just like. Easy. We'll be able to talk more after this. Oh, this one's my top priority. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Fine. 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 I can talk about mine. Well, it's me. me. Well, yeah. fun. So proud of me. Anyway, as you know. Like, I'm not drawing the keyboard. It seems processing, but what I do remember is that I was. Are we T-posing now? Finished when I awoke. You see, it's tradition. What is it? Is it? Oh wait. Uh, yeah, okay. Uh, I mean, you can T-pose. No, I don't feel like sitting up all the way. You don't have to T-pose. Okay. Uh, okay. T-posing is not required, but it is fun. <laughs> <laughs> Six foot distance. Oh, wait a minute. That's <laughs> There's no such thing as COVID inside the yard. Chat. <laughs> a kind note, travelers. As with any tour in the real world, please stay with your guide. Do not wander too far ahead or lag behind too much. And without further ado, the story begins. Between the forest and the countryside, there sits a lone house. And in this house is a young girl. Every evening, she looks out of her bedroom window, and her imagination soars. She wonders about the far away, exotic places her father always tells her about. She closes her eyes, and she can see them. Beautiful cities filled with waterfalls and white birds. Majestic mountains capped by clouds so soft one could fall asleep on them. She wonders and she wonders until the sun sets and crickets fill the air. In her mind, the scene shifts to the front door. She pictures her father finally coming home. She hopes for it with all her heart. It's going to be tonight. She knows it is. Her heart flutters as she opens her eyes expectantly. She looks to the path, to the trees, to the sky. The sky is purple and the path outside is darkening and empty. She was wrong. He hasn't come home. She shoves the curtains across and turns from the window. My friends, let's go inside and see if she's all right. This way. The El Pot! Quite a warm scene, isn't it? Elsa? Mm. The L pot plant? Ooh, Ooh, posing in the pot. I hope you're enjoying yourself, by the way. I really wish I could have stayed like this forever, don't you? Okay. Poppy, what? Okay. Huh? But it's quite surprising to be a young girl. Pretty soft brushes through the dark house. The kitchen oh, is again. empty. Her mother Stop. has forgotten to cook again. The girl grabs an apple from the table, pulls up a chair, and eats alone. She closes her eyes again, wanting to go to another place. The image slowly forms in her mind. Wisp of mist brushing by, the gentle rush of cool air in her ears, the deep thrum as she passes through clouds, the land far below her, everything cast in a radiant golden light. Then the sky knocks. No, not the sky. She opens her eyes. Could it be? The chair clatters to the ground, and she runs toward the front door. She can't contain her excitement. There he is. He's finally home. She lets out a cry of joy, and her father picks her up and holds her tightly. Whoa, hey. 
Is Mama still sleeping by the radar? Papa's voice is comforting, like the cloud she flew through. Only when you're gone so long. The mother's voice drifts in, warming the room. She joins them in a tight embrace. I'll always come back, he says. He takes out a sealed bottle of capsules from his jacket and hands it to the mother. He apologizes for only being able always to get enough for back. ten months. He what seems really sad time. about it. Don't worry, the mother says. I'll manage. I always have. And soon the house is filled with the warm glow from the fire, the sounds of laughter, the smell of a roast. And the little girl could not possibly be more happy. After dinner, the girl asks her father for another story about the pilot. He looks at her as a smile slowly spreads across his face. My friends, let's all go together and listen to father's story. This way. Come on, everyone. Let's keep. We let's get. Let's not let, let's leave the father waiting. Oh, it's for a man to come home. <coughs> Ain't that familiar? Yeah, about time. <laughs> I recall seeing something in those. Oh yeah, that. that yep. Hmm. Shit. Perfectly destroyed no, more I'm, later. I'm joining. <laughs> in my shoes. I'm going to sleep like this. Nighty night. Nice. <laughs> I sat on the floor right here. Don't worry about it. Okay. Now, I just seen sights I saw and played that tweet. Wait, where's the young the girl? Is gonna sleep on the jumps into the bed. Complete motion. And the father and mother sit either side of her. The father tells another story about his daughter's favorite hero, the pilot. Each time the father would revisit the story, the pilot would be on a new adventure. But each time, a few things remain the same. The pilot flies to new worlds with their legendary ship. And wherever they go, they meet new friends who need their help. The odds would be stacked against them. But thanks to their trusty legendary ship, the pilot always saves the day. The girl remains awake till the very end. And then her father asks, as he does at the end of every story. So, why do you think the pilot helps people? The young girl squeezes her bunny doll and cheers. Because it's, it's a good thing to do. The mother and father look at one another smile and then laugh the daughter doesn't know what happened but she laughs with them anyway as her parents leave the room the girl asks when she grows up if she can fly to other worlds and and help people like the pilot of course the father says you'll be the greatest pilot and someday you will save the day, too. The mother looks out the window. They tuck her in. The father turns off the light, and they leave the door ajar for their daughter. My friends, let's go back downstairs and let her sleep this way. This should interest you, but the one person and I refuse now it's the fire on pot. is coming by the tail. It's not as fun as pot. The man, white suit, white hair, I sent you a message to little try eyes peered from over the shelf. side of his head, and a tattoo over one eye. So, Fyron, how was the surgery? Would you maybe know who that was? The mother and father sit together in the living room, 
She asked him if he did what he set out to do, and if he was tracked. He says the same thing he always says. Of course not. He was careful. He starts talking about being able to get away with unregistered flights and a certain amount of excess cargo. When she stops him with a finger on the lips, she reminds him that she knows all of this already. She will always know when anything is approaching the house, thanks to the radar he stole. If a vessel gets near, they will all be notified. They both decide it's a topic for another time. Her husband is home again, and she missed him dearly. And so, they go to bed. woken um. suddenly it, it's the father he's talking about something on the radar headed for the refugee camp she rubs her eyes confused i have to go says the father i have to get them out she doesn't understand she pleads for him not to leave again still not sure what exactly is happening she suggests that it's just a scout or an error no the father says and his voice frightens her Look at the radar. The mother looks, and her heart drops. The signal is enormous. The largest ship she's ever seen, and it's headed directly for the rebel camp off the radar's edge. That's, she begins, but her voice falters. Yes, says the father. The Dark Monument airship. Last time it was deployed, it laid waste to everything from Eternic to the Aquavi Islands. The death toll was in the millions. Fire fell from the sky for weeks after, and to this day, nothing grows there. <laughs> Hidden forest camps, underground bases, networks under towns, it doesn't matter. Nobody is safe from this thing. Sending, sending it there could only mean... He doesn't finish. He doesn't need to. I'll join you, the mother says. I was an engineer in the military. I can help. You were, until they discharged you for your condition. He takes hold of her shoulders and looks her in the eyes. The moonlight from outside dims and the room goes dark. I need you to stay here. Protect our daughter. The gray soldiers will easily detect her potential. They'll take her away from us. We can't let our daughter become another weapon for them. The mother feels as though she is in a nightmare. Can't you contact the Ethos Coalition for help? The Coalition's sh resistance ships won't make it in time. I can, can outrun that abomination. I smuggled them into the camp in the first place, so it's up to me to get them out of there. I'm their only hope. His hands slide down her arms and take hold of her fingers. Ugh. She's trembling. Look, I was the same as them. A refugee on the run, remember? And then you rescued me. I have to return the favor. It's... It's the good thing to do. Reluctantly, she nods. He kisses her there we go. and rushes into Holy the night with his things. People. The house is cold and dark once more, and the mother and daughter are left alone. One year later, the father has not returned. And the daughter is now six. The mother lost contact with the Ethos Coalition months ago. Every night she waits by the radar, staring at the night sky. Tonight her daughter is with her, and together 
They watch, wondering if the moon is going to reappear. The silence is broken by the daughter. Mama, are you going to listen to the radio all night again? The mother doesn't answer. Daddy said it's bad for your heart to stay up. The mother looks down at her daughter, smiles, and turns off the radio. She holds her for a while and then puts her to bed. She promises to her that she will sleep on time as she closes the door. The mother goes back downstairs to the radar and turns it on. She listens with her head in her arms. She listens until sleep takes her. loud voice screeches attention attention this area is under martial law by order of the gray surrender all ether users immediately or face execution she changes through channels but it's everywhere she presses her hands against her ears but the voice is in her mind how then she looks at the radar and she sees it it's it's already over the forest the cursed ship is here but why no no she doesn't have time to think they have to escape. The mother rushes upstairs, wakes her daughter, and dresses her. The daughter only has time to grab her bunny doll before the sound of splintering wood is heard from the ground floor. Terrified, they both run toward the window to the balcony. Quickly, my friends, this way. Come on, everyone, evacuate the house immediately. Go, go, go. We don't have time. Oh, well, this ain't good. Let's Move. go from the balcony. Move. Ha! Uh, Come on, yep. get down! From fire... Yeah. Oh. Shelter. Fire time. Backflip. Go. He burned down the... Go, go, go! go. go. Come on, fire. get down, get down! Go. Jump! Go. The house on fire! Go. Get out quickly! Jump. Come on, Shelly, I'll catch you. Go. I got okay. you. I'll catch you, old man. Damn. This took a sudden turn. Where'd you go? Probably make a parachute a manual then. I like this. I hate it. I hate story time. Story time. What do you bring me here? Everyone, we made that sound. We need to get out. We need to get out of this fire first. Then we can recuperate. Who are they? Your legs are numb. a little girl. Mama, I'm scared. The mother holds her daughter tight and jumps from the balcony. She hits the ground hard, landing on her side. A sharp pain shoots through a broken rib, but her daughter is safe, and that's all that matters. She stands and looks around. The entire forest is, is in flames. There, a path through the wall of fire. It's the only way, my friends, over here. Okay. Wait, Look, I may have a fire monster, but that does not mean I'm the one who caused the fire. This is a perfect plan. Come on, come on. <laughs> You forgot, okay, you forgot four. about... Quick status check. Is, 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 does anyone not see the giant fires around? I can I see it. I think we have a few late joiners. I can see it. Everyone sees the fires? I see I fire. See the okay. of I <laughs> this place is lit. I did this. She struggles to run. <laughs> she struggles to run. Her daughter is heavy. She glances over her shoulder. Dark figures are circling the house, peering through the clouds of smoke. Then, the mother looks up, and she sees it. A horrifying shape eclipses the moon. Its silhouette drops a blanket of slow-moving shadow, smothering the land below in darkness. The airship creeps slowly, unstoppably, toward them. 
She places her daughter on her feet um, and kneels down to look her in the eyes. What moon? Mama is going to run, and you must run too. She barely manages to get her words out. You must not let go of my hand. Do you, do you understand? Do not let go. Is that a monster? The little girl stammers with eyes welling up. No, don't look at it. The mother cries. Take my hand and don't let go. One of the soldiers yells in the distance. The mother grips her hand tight and they run. Her heart races. The fire is unbearably hot and the smoke scrapes in her throat. My friends, the mother and daughter have been spotted and are now pursued by the Dark Monument airship. Together, they must find a way through the burning forest. And so must all of you, as this is your first quest. My friends, click the pressure save point and as fast as you can, run for the If light. possible, jump over the fires. Where? Ah! Cones Bruh. everywhere. My body isn't resistant to flames. Ah. Don't touch the cones, don't touch the cones. Don't touch the cones. Crap. Oops. Come on. Let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go. Oh shit. That is all the spotlights. Go forward and to the right when it's clear. Where we have to go? Over here. Jump over the fires if necessary. We don't have to do this. I die like twice. <laughs> mm -hmm. Anyone burnt? Burnt to a crisp. Into a crisp. We handled a lot. I'm honestly curious what would have happened if I just ran through the spotlight thing that the soldiers got. What happened to now that I went to the uh teleport back to the beginning? Yeah, you get teleported uh, back to the beginning. Uh, Man, what type of hair color is this? <laughs> got caught. Uh, Gosh, this is not getting caught. Beginning. Can't tell. I made a statue in there. Purple. Well, like, I purple. Well, like, I didn't think it was really Just a few more minutes, Holy. friends. Less than one minute. <laughs> Shit. Eh, who could have known this? Sadly, my name is 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 I have to look through my memory. Oh, I'm gonna head out. 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 Oh, yeah, that's small. What? Small bean. Small bean. Damn. 
Destin is dead. Why is there some mechanized serum? Why is Destin dead? dead? Don't worry. I'll make mm -hmm. a uh -oh. I'm gonna. I I'll go. Down. I'll go help oh, them right. over there. Right, like, There's come over here. here. If I'm not back, if What's I'm okay? not back in ten minutes, you can have you. You can have the orange juice. You have the orange juice. Don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. Okay. Okay. Actually, no, I didn't. I, I, I got, I got, I kept getting stuck, so, so they helped me get. There's, fa there's also a fast travel. So. Yeah, I have to you didn't want to go through it. Because <laughs> there's a, there was a fast travel. There is. There's a menu in the world, but. How wonderful. I think I might have. Oh. Why does Rendizo keep on leaving and coming back? Is he crashing a lot? Yeah, he's been crashing a lot even since the story began. Mm. Like even before, when we were at the rendezvous, he kept crashing. I know, it was like about six, seven times plus already. Yeah. Friends, the story continues. Also, Doc. Bless you. Somehow. Somehow, the mother and daughter have made it through this barbecue. Flaming forest, my friends. <laughs> this way. Flaming barbecue, flaming forest. Okay, I gotta, I gotta give, it, I gotta give that to you, goddamn. That was funny as shit. <laughs> flaming barbecue forest. <laughs> I think we need Captain Panda's pot. Yes, of course. But they're just inviting us over for barbecue. Oh yeah, by the way, tomorrow, 3 p.m. hosting a barbecue. The story continues. The mother and daughter stagger into a secluded clearing. Nearby is a tent, an old campfire. And a pond. Raindrops pat against the canvas, the leaves of the trees, and the water surface. The ground squelches beneath every footstep. The rain is cold, but the chill soothes the mother's burns. They won't have to worry about the fire spreading this far. Inside the tent, the mother speaks words of comfort to her wailing child, cradling her in her arms. The traumatized girl grips her bunny and buries her face into the mother. The rain masks her tears, and soon she sleeps. The mother, however, does not. She keeps watch all through the stormy night. When the last of the daughter's sniffles subside, she begins to dream of a far away place, a dark place. She descends into a nightmare. My friends, please do not leave the first room and use the nightmare save point. Bum, ba, da, bum. <laughs> Where is this? Amori is this? Is this? <laughs> this is so Make cool. Some space. There's a lot of us here. I played this game. Okay, Freaking okay. This is pretty much the most immersive story, story I've right ever now. seen. Oh. Uh, yeah, I knew you were going to like this. You have a lot of people here. You can make it. This is like that one yeah, Eric Andre yeah, sketch. Yeah, 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 Welcome Travelers. to the RT. Apologies. Most of them are like this. It's a bit cramped in here, but I assure you, things will change shortly. <laughs> Tonight's NPCs, please come forward and stand next to me. Mm. NPC.
NPCs at this time. Please change into your Dream Eater avatars. I'm a Dream Eater. I don't even know what that is. <laughs> Not there's no bodies. Oh no. <laughs> NPCs, do not enter the nightmare yet. Wait for my signal. Now, everyone, listen carefully. My friends, a figure is suddenly aware of their surroundings. The walls are cold and slick. The floor is a solid void, and the air shimmers with a shadowy haze. The unknown figure looks about, very barely able to see anything. What am I doing here? I was... I was searching for... They think to themselves. There are voices audible in the distance, echoing and distorted, drawling closer. The figure realizes they can't stay here. They must find a way out. And so must all of you as this is your next quest. Uh -oh. Listen carefully, travelers. Search for a way through the darkness and avoid these monsters at my side at all cost. NPCs, at this time, turn on your searchlight avatars, your searchlights, and show them to the group. Travelers, make sure you have the avatars enabled of the NPCs standing next to me it should be equalization and the l-man 1000 npcs you may now take your place in the nightmare <laughs> Whatever. travelers getting caught in a monster's cone of light will fracture the girl's hope and you will hear thunder crash if you are caught, keep moving. Through the dark, she dreams for you. And your quest begins now. Travelers, go! Go! Okay, bet. To the darkness we go! It's a, it's a maze, no! It's a maze! 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 We're going through the door. Oh, there's an arrow! Follow the arrows! Oh, you can't see? There we go. Oh, someone caught. Oh. Yes. Oh, no, okay. Okay. Nice. No, nice. 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 Nice.
Every time I do this story, all of you gather around and perform this ritual of soup. I'll have you know that while I am trying to do this story, your chanting greatly encourages me and warms my heart and makes me do a better job. Please shout soup more loudly and faster. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, guess what? Guess what? Mm. I'm making my own religion. Oh? Cheese. <laughs> the cheese religion. Yeah. Do you want to join my religion? The cheese. Maybe. Cheese religion. Cheese. Welcome to VR, oh. travelers. We are not a cult. I swear. Lol. <laughs> Praise the cube. We have a suit made, certified by the store. Certified soup store. Travelers. <laughs> Travelers, thank you. The ritual persists. And now, the story <laughs> will continue. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, everyone, everyone catch your breath. <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm sorry. <laughs> The girl. Was I scary or what? No. The girl wakes herself up, screaming in the dark of night, her eyes filled with tears as she frantically calls for her mother. Quickly, she comes to comfort her terrified child. The daughter begins describing a dark place with monsters, but she struggles to speak through her trembling. The mother rocks her in her arms, telling her it was just a nightmare, not to worry. She tries to go on about how the person in her nightmare was searching for something, but her voice is... is failing her. The mother interrupts. She tells her it was not real, just a dream, and she is safe. Together, they sit rocking for a while as the rain dies down. Soon, the morning sun reveals itself like a golden orb between parting storm clouds. The mother thinks to herself that the town of Shade has always been a place rebel supplies move through. Surely, clues to the Ethos Coalition are there. The mother checks the sky. Clear for now. My friends, this way. You guys just disappeared and I didn't go with you guys for some reason. I fucking love you. It was terrifying, I tell ya. Sorry for the new guys, but we've handled it. Just went to, to medieval times. And so long. Just medieval times. Looks, looks pretty normal this, to me. This town is from dinosaur time. Thank God. Uh, Rawr. My friends, gather up so you can do <laughs> Do not explore the town yet. Do not explore the town yet, my friends. Kindly. Guys, do not explore the town. The story will continue. <laughs> Well, let How's your first official ritual? He started to walking into a public house. Soup ritual. What's up? Oh, it's his Meow. first. I participated in the first one. But actually, yeah. so it was the first time I played, or I came to play with Daniel. Shark bait. Ha ha ha. My friend. The town of Shay <laughs> is a small, <laughs> busy, unfriendly place. <laughs> The people here don't smile or greet each other as they pass. 
the mother and daughter feel unwelcome. The mother doesn't know who to trust or who is loyal to the Grey City. First, she needs to find a safe place for them to get some proper rest. The mother books a room, which the innkeeper says will be ready a little later. She checks the sky, then tells her daughter that they should gather supplies while they wait. They likely have a long way to go tomorrow. My friends, this is your next quest. Listen carefully. All of you must explore the town of Shade. Scattered around are various supplies and clues the mother and daughter need. If you find an interesting looking item, please click it. It will appear in your tab key inventory. You may press the tab key to view your inventory. And if you are in VR, you may press one of the trigger buttons or the menu button while holding your hand at eye level. This will cause the menu to appear. My friends, the most important thing about this quest is that you return here within five minutes. You will hear a bell when time has expired. My friends, your time begins now. Good luck. Oh, this purse hey, into shame. Uh, okay. Watch, watch a speed run to find out. <laughs> level or higher. Pendant. Good luck, Charm. The book shall be open. Shall we?
got Especially weapons. in an RPG world. Over here. Yep. There's a book. Book down here. Here, guys. It's randomized. Max, max I could definitely use volume a volume three. Jugging military. Academy. I could definitely use a weapon. There's a hand. Oh. There's a talisman back here. That's a book. Where's the pills? Got pills. Got them. Energy drinks, not drugs. I'm beyond drugs and energies. My friends, the time has expired. Years later. Okay. I got everything. What else? I hope that you have found what they need. The innkeeper oh, tells the mother the room is ready. This way, my friends. Come on, everyone. Relax. In the room. We gotta oh, need the rest. Pull up my chair for this. <sighs> Sweet I think I man, you're taking up all the I'm kidding. I'm kidding, bro. I'm kidding. <laughs> yeah, screw it. Well, there's why I can fit. I can do this. People will need a rest. Thank you, under my wing tip. Mission accomplished. Oh, shit, man, you're taking a bath in this shit. What? You know, the Dang. light went before I got in. Boop. <laughs> Seems like NPCs some people are taking a shower. Bathtub. Dude, come yes. You guys are playing with NPCs, though. I don't want to be in the bathtub anymore. My friends, your attention, please. Okay. Yes, I'm listening. The story continues. The two make their way up to the prepared bedroom and begin settling in. It's quiet inside the inn. Clouds have gathered outside once again, casting the small space in a dull gray light. Finally, they can rest. The daughter is helping her mother sort the items they gathered today. She wants to help by carrying a few of them in her own little bag. But she isn't sure which item to choose. My friends, listen carefully. Press the tab key to view your inventory. If you're via in VR, hold your right hand above eye level and press your menu or jump button. Now, review the items you have gathered today. We must choose three items the daughter will carry for her mother. I will call on three people at random and ask you which item you choose. If you do not wish to answer, you may pass, and I will choose another.
question again. Okay. What's the answer again? Let's see. The mother part. Danuji. Hello there. Danuji, may I call on you? Tell me, what is one item the daughter will carry for her mother? I would say the first aid burn cream. The first aid burn cream. A good choice. Surely, much needed by the mother. Thank you, Danuji. Item number two. Sorry, uh... Tell he. Uh, May I call on you? Tell he. <laughs> yes, you may type. That's fine. Mm -hmm. If someone could help me... Althena's Rememberizer. I believe this is the Ooh. first time this item has been chosen. Good choice, Chelly. Huh. Surely this item will help us in reviewing past adventures? Yes, <laughs> past adventures. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Item number three. Stoppy poo, may I call on you? That sure. rhymed. Um, how about the holy shield? The holy shield. Ah, uh, yes. An, an item that somehow made its way here from Eternic Village. Wait, is that right? I'm not sure. Anyways, Whatever it great is, choice. We have it. The three items she puts in her bag. Althena's Rememberizer, the First Aid Burn Cream, and the Holy Shield. Well done. The story continues. The mother sits on the bed, leaning against the window frame. She's tired of running, tired of hiding, but she cannot stop. Not yet. She looks through the window at the town as the evening sun sinks behind gray clouds. The daughter jumps up on the bed and cuddles up to her. She holds on tight to her bunny doll. Are we going to stay here? She asks. I want to go home. The mother brushes her daughter's hair to the side. Not for long. We're going somewhere else tomorrow. Some somewhere safe. Is that where daddy went? The daughter looks up at her mother, hopeful. I think so. You need to sleep. So you can walk with me tomorrow. You need to sleep too, mama. The little girl nudges her and places a hand over her mother's heart. She can feel it beating steadily. The feeling comforts her. Daddy said, I need to protect Mama. The mother smiles. You already are, my angel. Daddy says, you're a good luck charm, as though you have friends watching over you. Friends watching over me and Bunny? She looks at the ceiling, just you. and all around the room, but nobody's there. The mother laughs. <laughs> mm-hmm. The daughter squeezes her bunny doll and goes silent. She thinks deeply for a six-year-old. Mama, will my friends watch over your heart, too? She puts an arm around her daughter and pulls her in. The answer comes only as a whisper. 
a fragile breath. I hope so. I hope so. The daughter nods and snuggles up close. She falls asleep within minutes. The mother wipes tears from her own eyes and looks back out the window. Night has come. My friends, mother will keep watch while we sleep. For what is good never last. Please, use the nightmare save point to follow the daughter into her dreams once more. It will appear right about here. Back to the... Oh. Meet the void. Oh. Meet again, void. There are no walls. Please. You will fall. Spooky month, all right. All I see is all my books that I gave. Attention, attention. Tonight's in PCs. Please change into your dream eater avatars and take your place at my side. <laughs> oh, oh, no, oh, no. oh god! Luigi! Oh my god! Just like just like was a Oh shit! This is the real nightmare. I've been here this whole time. This is a plot twist we've been waiting for. <laughs> Again, our NPCs will play a part in this story. Make sure you have the avatars enabled of Equalization and the Elman. Dream Eaters, now at this time, take your place in the nightmare. Let's go! <laughs> oh boy! <laughs> <laughs> I was actually waiting for a let's go. Let's go! I understand the path, but I understand the path ahead. But I think I'll try something different. Continues. Once more, the unknown figure becomes aware. The air is colder, but the vision feels somehow sharper. Perhaps this place is a little brighter than the last. The last place. Oh, really? Yes, they are here for a reason. The figure thinks in silence. What am I searching for? Why can't I remember who I am? Glancing back over their shoulder, they see only swirling shadow and it evokes a sense of unholy dread. Something is following, my friends, and this is your next quest. Listen carefully. This time, there are no monsters to avoid, but instead, a pair of dream eaters block the exit. Find the path that gives you hope. Then gather around the dream eaters at, at the end, and together, as a group, Answer the spoken trial. Travelers, make haste. Well, your own path this. is a toll road, and now you owe me money. Hey, you Euros or rupees? I need to show you a lesson. Ooh, rupees. Oh, my. 
Oh, you lost all his color. That is so cringy. I'll humor you. You're just white. Oh god, he has no texture. He's calm. Wait, 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 my friends, listen carefully. The Dream Eaters will now give their spoken trial. Please kindly show them the same respect you showed me during narration. And listen to their commands. The fate of the daughter and mother depend on it. You may begin. All right, all of you. We're getting hey, paid good bird. money hey. to keep you from blue here. You shot <laughs> But we said I was gonna speak first. No, I was speaking. No thanks, bro. Fine, just All say right. we have a riddle and then I'll go first. Yeah. Well, but what I was going to say until my brother interrupted me is we've been paid by someone gracious enough to give you all a riddle. Let's see if you can solve it and save those two's lives. Yeah. <clears throat> Master of scripts and dungeons. Child dethroned to muck and forgotten by time. Friend to wanderers of fractured timelines. But soon, reluctantly, you might say farewell. Who am I? Yes. Can we get can we get that stated in the Discord, please? Let's not say anything too quickly. They might actually take the answer. Yeah, it's Trajan. Yeah, it's Trajan. Yeah, it's gotta be Trajan. It's Trajan. I agree. We'll give you a few more seconds. I believe the guy paying us no to Oh my god. I tinker made sure this was, oh. this was given extra care. Yeah. This has to be history. Okay. That's the answer. Dog, I don't think these are it is your, your riddle is standing I'm... right behind you. <laughs> Checking the wings. All right, it's uh, pretty quiet. So they have uh, some history who's as well. Say the answer. You'll find out soon. I volunteer as tribute. I've been saving it. I've been saving it. Yeah, all right. right. Okay. Strange little creature. I think I stepped on you some. Stepped on someone that looked like you before. <laughs> the magic. What you speak up? I don't know. I don't see. What? I think up when I remember something. <clears throat> The answer of which you seek is Trajum. <laughs> you got it right. <laughs> that was very good. I think that the was Trajum guys best. behind you guys. Timelines in 4D space. Well done? Yes. Well done. <laughs> That's a well done surprise. All according to plan. Well done with poorly cooked steak. <laughs> the story continues. The unknown figure passes. 
passes between the strange nightmare manifestations and enters a new space. As she walks, as they walk through the darkness, they find a fragment. It's blue, crystal-like, and floating as if it's sinking in an eternal ocean. Something that is surely forbidden and lost to time distortions. This item is half of a mermaid tear. The figure continues. There comes the scent of dust and rust. They look ahead, peering into shadows that that feels distant, and a shape begins to take form. It is colossal. It hangs in an abyss, majestic and imposing. As the figure perceives more and more of it, its wings cut through the darkness like great blades of night. And there it waits, motionless, expectant. My friends, it is time to wake up from this nightmare. Please use the wake save point. Wake up, wake up, wake up, wake me up before you go, go, don't leave me hang around. Oh, yo, oh, that. I'm awake! 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 i am awake i am the story yes. kind of looks up. I've been saved by the continuing story. Oh, where is he? The girl. The girl is jolted awake by a loud bang that shakes the room. A vase topples from the table. We have to go. Get dressed. We have to go now. The girl tries to explain to her mother about her nightmare, about how she knows what the person is searching for. The room shakes again, cracking the window this time. She stops mid-sentence when she looks through the broken glass. Its image distorted, fragmented. It hangs in the night sky. It is here. The monster is here. It's following us. The little girl shrieks before tumbling from the bed and pushing herself up against the back wall. There are sounds of a firefight outside the room. Don't look at it. The mother comes to grab her. It's going to be okay. Mama will protect you, but we have to leave now. The world comes down around them. Everyone, this way. Oh boy, it's happening. Woo! Okay, I like Why it. does Come everywhere I go get attacked by. Sure do hope the town it's isn't on fire. The terrible. <laughs> Not. Oh no, yeah. the town is on fire. <laughs> Everything goes silent. If you move quick enough, they won't catch you. Uh, I can't see. All the cubes. Save us 4D soup cube. No, this way. All the cube. Well, I'm not getting my security deposit back. All the cube. No. You had a security deposit in the first place? Let's get moving. I think I got lost. Oh, wait, there we are. This way, this way, this way. They're blocking the exit. Holy shit. Uh, government. The right way. Left. I would never be the IRS for this. Oh, oh shit! A damn robot. Oh god! I yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no, I no, ran no, off. No. It's time to get your fisty cuffs out. Bro, what the hell is this? Wait, there's a fucking motorcycle. We could use, we could transform this into a fucking rifle. We will burn everything around me, but they will never get me. Right. I will never pay that one. Get your weapons up! <laughs> it's time to fight. Oh god, a fairy controlling the room. Even worse. The mother makes her way to the town exit, opposite the firefight. In the street, the mother spots a motorcycle lying on its side, still running. She goes to lift it upright. Halt! A large soldier appears, 
armed with a gun blade. The town of Shade is now under martial law by order of the Grey. All civilians are to report for ether scanning. Come with me. For the law. The mother holds her. The mother holds her daughter's hand tight. She states they were already scanned and have no potential. She slowly backs away. I said halt! The soldier orders. He then presses a button on his visor. The mother sees this and pushes her daughter to run and hide behind a wooden crate. With a racing heart, the mother now stands defiantly between her daughter and the towering soldier. His eyes go wide as he reads his visor display. What's this? You haven't been scanned. You both are coming with me. With his eyes on the sky, the soldier reaches for his comms, preparing to notify command of his discovery. The mother must think fast, and so begins your next quest. You have 30 seconds to decide as a group which of the three options to choose from. Attack, defend, or mother's instinct. Your time begins now. Mother instincts. Where do we start for mother instincts? All according to plan. All according to plan. Is the town on fire this time? Who's the one who's called the new? It's a bunch of crap that I collected in town. <laughs> I just can't with the jokes today. That was a surprise. Oh. I don't think we could. I don't think we have the strength to attack or defend. <laughs> <laughs> right. uh, uh, okay. Okay. We're gonna have to go with mother's instinct. Mm, with a powerful charm. weapon next to nuclear arms. I swear. Pain medicine. The, the pumpkin spirit. Hold up. Time's up. I'm not on the path. May I call on you? Oh. Oh. Sure. What does the mother do? Attack, defend, or mother's instinct? Uh, mother's instinct. All according, yeah. all according to plan. I may not have heard the question clearly. I hope your plan is on. Nope, you had it right. Oh, okay. Okay. All right. He dashes to grab the soldier's comm device before he speaks. He notices and catches her by the wrist. With his other arm, he makes a tight fist and hooks her hard in the face, fracturing her jaw. The soldier Wait, no, has taken no damage enough. this round. Okay. Oh. The mother was knocked to the ground, but quickly gets up. The soldier shoulders his gun blade, aiming at her heart. De attack, defend, or mother's instinct. 30 seconds. What will the mother do? What happened there? Defend. Defend. Yes. She reaches for a lid of a nearby crate to shield herself just in time. The bullet passes through and explodes by the lid. It hits her leg, but she doesn't know it. While the soldier struggles to adjust his aim, she throws the heavy lid, striking his heart in the face. He staggers, but does not fall. Furious now, he spits out a tooth and moves in close. The, the soldier has taken significant damage this round. I'd say it's an S. Let's go! I agree. The soldier raises the gun blade high, preparing for a downward strike. Attack, defend, or mother's instinct. 30 seconds. I don't see how they do. Yeah, probably attack. Yeah, that's probably what Mother's Instinct is. 
I'm from an Irish family. I feel Mother's Instinct is one of the most powerful weapons in the world. I'm gonna have to go with that. Valid. Fair enough. Let's okay. see if okay. your instincts hold true. He moves back toward the wall as he follows. He glares at him as he gets closer. He swings down, only to find his blade stopped by the wall behind him. Sparks fly and she takes the opportunity to spring forward, knocking him off his feet. With her weight on his chest, he is pinned to the ground. She wails no on father. him with all her might, wishing for next, wishing for each next punch to put him to sleep. But it's not enough. The soldier drops his gun blade so he can grab and throw her off. She doesn't let go and twists her left arm into a lock. She manages to unclip her incendiary, an incendiary grenade from his belt. But the angry soldier then brings his elbow down hard, breaking her arm at the wrist. The soldier mm. has taken significant damage this round. Well done. Well, she, well, Irish, well done. Very nice. Well, very very good. Irish, on. well done. <laughs> all very my well done. Irish country. Oh, oh, please, oh, do we win? I know what might No, no, we didn't win yet. yet. Witnessing all of this, witnessing all of this, the daughter screams for her mother. Now positioned between them, the soldier grabs the little girl and growls for the mother to drop the grenade or she dies. The daughter shouts, leave us alone, just as the blue aura erupts around her. Attack, defend, or mother's instinct. Attack. Oh boy. Attack. Attack. Good. Attack. Attack. Oh boy. Simple. Attack, Attack because he dropped his gun blade. He yeah. dropped the gun blade. Yeah, that's mother's instinct. That's the word. I think mother's instinct mother's is another yeah. idea here. Yeah. 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 She no, it's the mother, and the mother has a broken wrist. Oh, she just got elbowed. And oh, I think mean, another mother's into the Oh, okay. Janine, attack, defend, or mother's instinct. Attack. She meets her daughter's eyes and shouts. Angel, make him go away. The girl drops her bunny doll and closes her eyes. The aura explodes into a torrent of blue fr flame. Oh. The soldier tries to block, but the pure ether rips into him, sending him flying through a wall. alive, the soldier gets up. Immediately, he runs to his mech, climbing up into the open cockpit. Just before the door closes, the mother throws the incendiary grenade inside. The ground shakes, but not because of the grenade going off. A shadow sweeps across everything. The dark monument now hovers over the town gates dropping bolts of blazing fire in every direction. The mother grunts in pain as she lifts the bullet-riddled motorcycle into an upright position. She calls for her daughter to get on, but the girl stands unmoving, staring at the monster in the sky. Quickly, she pulls her daughter up on the seat with her. She still has one strong leg and arm. The adrenaline is masking everything for now. We're going to be okay, she tells her daughter. I promise. We have to, she thinks to herself. 
together. They speed away from the inferno. That was the town of shade. My friends, this way. Yeah. Oh, oh boy. That's <laughs> Oh. I swear, me bloody nose can't take this. Best of trust. They started to play a whole RPG game. Someone's having a long fart. I'd rather not think about the last one. Um, Wario. Stop here, here friends. Stop here. Stop. Stop. Jordan. Mm hmm. Why are there neuralizers all over? Why are there neuralizers all over? What? They're lights, but they look like the neuralizers. <laughs> Just a moment, friends. We're waiting for a one or two to catch up. Oh. <laughs> The trail is empty. The sound of the wind and the rumble of the engine slowly fade out in the mother's mind. All she can hear are her own thoughts alongside the painful thumps in her chest. The daughter holds on silently, eyes staring vacantly into the darkening sky. Angel, I'm so sorry. We are almost there. We will be at a safe place soon, the mother says. The daughter does not respond. My friends, this way. Don't keep your hopes up too high. You got a robot chasing us? Stop, yes. No. Wait, no. <laughs> Wait, why Wait. are we in Area 51 all of a sudden? This ain't right. Hold up, something's wrong. Something's wrong. We're in a sec top secret facility right here. Yeah, I don't know about this, man. Oh, shit. This looks like a bloody We're checkpoint. So Set that guy to the sky. You, go oh, no, what happened. you know, that shit, means everyone yeah. save up and put in all the buffs you have. I don't know. Bring my papers. Attention, traveler. For those of you that are new here, and this is your first time experiencing this story, things are about to get way out of hand. I hope you stay for the end. The story continues. The sky is dark. The outpost looms ahead, various points of light moving about. The mother left the motorcycle on the road. It ran out of fuel a while ago. She leads her daughter by the hand, struggling to breathe as they walk. Finally, they're somewhere safe, she thinks. Finally, they can rest. Wait. Something isn't right. This is meant to be a waypoint for smugglers. Why are there soldiers everywhere? Gray soldiers. The mother breaks down. She lets go of her daughter's hand and, and drops to her knees. This is hopeless. They can't escape. What is she even doing? The information from Shade wasn't correct. And, and, and it hurts. Everything hurts. The pain is unbearable. It's getting worse. Mama? The daughter's voice is tiny and feeble. Mama, are you okay? The mother looks at her daughter. You should sleep, Mama. I'll sleep too. And we can go to the dream world together. I thought there were monsters there, but I know who it actually is. It's safe there, Mama. Let's go to sleep and forget this place. 
the mother listens to her daughter's words and begins to cry. She can't die here. This poor ch 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 child is, is already is already losing her. Her poor angel. No. No. She has to be stronger. She ha has to make her own hope. The mother stands back up and takes back her daughter's hand. There has to be a way through here. My friends, this way. Oh no! I trust in all of us. Oh, oh sorry. Bad feelings. Shit, I'm on drugs! Oh, oh god, there's so many men! We're gonna die. We're gonna die. <laughs> so is this like a chill Gee, one or that is so fitting now. <laughs> it's cause she dearly I will softly speak away. Speak away. I don't want to cry. No. The story continues. They sneak through the building carefully, avoiding the patrols. They stop and remain silent as two soldiers approach one another. They stop to talk, and the mother listens. Hey, I'm sure you'd heard, but shade's been wiped from the map. Nothing left but ashes. It doesn't feel real, one soldier says with a worried tone. I'm not surprised. The Dark Monument is in the region, and Shade was a known supply point for the Ethos. But what if it comes here? They say it just destroys everything that's not a part of its unit. Unlikely. That machine they excavated is here. It's scheduled for transport to District Zero. They would not destroy something this important. You mean, you mean that creepy Mac nobody is allowed to go near? Yeah. Rumor has it that there is an ether amplifier on board. The scanners can't make sense of it. That's... that's impossible. I thought you can only fit those on big warships. Don't you need to grow them or something crazy like that? Well, whatever it is, I heard they can't get the mech to move. It fries any equipment we attach to it. Hey, you want to go see it before it ships out? Nobody is watching it now. No way that thing gives me the creeps. The soldiers part ways to continue their patrols. The We're stealing the mech. That the mech they spoke of is their only chance to leave. She looks at her daughter. The girl has been silent. Staring vacant Grand Theft Mech since they have arrived. <clears throat> she wants to check if she's all right, but they need to move. My friends, this way. Huh. Beautiful machine. There must be loot. That's a suiting one. It's a petite one compared to the other ones standing around. It's a sexy mech. That help us save those two. Uh, guys, I don't want to. Oh, he's looking the other way. I hope. Okay, good. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, we're good. Quiet, or else you will turn around. <laughs> <laughs> there was no loot for me, fine. <sighs> there it stands alone. 
a mysterious smack. The air is thick around it, drowning out sound. And somehow, the glare of the night lights. This is our only chance. If there's anyone up there, please, help. N no. No, I, I can do this, the mother thinks to herself. I can do this my myself. It's warm to the touch. The cockpit eerily and silently opens. Not wasting time, the mother motions for her daughter to come inside with her. But the girl refuses. The mother looks up and sees a guard in the distance slowly patrolling closer. She kneels down to eye level and whispers in frustration that they need to fly to where daddy is. The daughter backs away from her. She speaks with a quivering voice. No, that's not the right way, Mama. W we need to wait here. What? The mother is confused and tries to reach for her daughter. We have to go now. No, I it's the pilot in a dream, Mama. W we need to wait for the pilot. The daughter says louder as she backs away again. Angel, please, they are going to see us. I am the pilot and... We are going to fly this to where Daddy went. Get, get in now. I won't. We will be safe if we go to sleep. The daughter says louder, starting to, to cry. Stop, Angel, calm down. She pleads with her arm outstretched. I don't want to go in there again, Mama. The child shrieks. It's too late. A soldier on the wall shouts and triggers the intruder alarms. Sirens start blaring and the daughter panics, running into her mother's arms. Blinding spotlights quickly discover their whereabouts, illuminating the mother and daughter, holding one another under ghostly white light. The pilot will save us, the pilot will save us, the pilot will save us, she says over and over. Then she faints. The mother holds her. Angel, angel, no, angel. The sirens continue to blare, and soldiers are making their way down the wall. The mother looks at her daughter's unconscious face and then over to the mech. My friends, listen carefully. <laughs> at this point in the story, normally, I would ask you to make a choice. If you wish to stay awake with mother, you will stand next to the mech, or if you wish to follow the daughter into the final nightmare. You will stand in another place. But because the ending of tonight's tour is locked on the good path, we are closing the path to the nightmare tonight, and everyone will go to the, med the path of staying awake with mother. Yeah, this is tough. Uh, I mean, we had enough of nightmares anyway. I think it's best we stay awake with mother. Yes. We're gonna need more yes. nightmares to understand the storyline. I mean, there was like creepy the story is so weird for the pilot. Um, this. My friends, the mother swells up the side of the mech, careful not to use her broken wrist. She manages to lift her daughter inside. She then climbs in with her. My friends, please click the still. Oh, I moved it. Cameras and two Italians giving us a riddle. Oh, okay. Dino oh, man, man, man. Hey, you boobers. Find your location. Find your spot. Time. Find your spot. <laughs> Make sure you're, oh you're close God. to shooting. Oh, oh, nice. I'm going to be the bug on the windshield. Right, I'm big enough to write this. Those in the rear, uh, please be the bottom. We are all <laughs> bugs on the windscreen. <laughs> all right, who's going to be <laughs> the windshield? Okay. Pilot. Jimmy's at the... Um, hold on, I need to switch over to YouTube video, hold on. How to fly a robot. <laughs> so confusing, right? Mm. You mean how to pilot a mech. We aren't just flying, friend. My friend. My friend. Hold on to your hearts. The story oh, continues. Okay. <laughs> we know what to do. The mother secures the passenger seat belt around her daughter. She readies herself in the pilot's seat and notices there are no controls. 
She places her right hand over her pounding, aching chest while frantically searching for a way to start the machine. Come on, please turn on. It can't end like this, she thinks. Suddenly, the dashboard lights up. An automated voice speaks. Initiating startup sequence. Automatic drive connected. Scanning for contact identity markers. Negative. No observer chain detected. Unregistered pilot detected. Please input ether engine access code. My friends, you have 15 seconds to give the ether engine access code. What the heck well, is uh, that? It is. Esmeralda well, Kassim. Um, Esmeralda yep, Kassim. Esmeralda Kassim. I believe it's Esmeralda Kassim. Yeah. Is it Emerald? Let the engine no, of the machine die. Emerald. 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 suddenly shouts in her sleep, speaking a name the mother does not recognize. The computer responds. Let's go. <laughs> Access granted. Igniting ether engine. Yeah. Welcome back. Holy Mother. Oh, balsamic time. That's a nice name. <laughs> it's time. The magenta oh, mech begins to levitate. Initiating healing drive. The Mother's oh, heart oh. is stabilized. Warning. Hostile lock-ons detected. The Mother's Ew. mind is shown four combat techniques. Heaven's Fist. Divine Impact. Holy Choir Storm and Grand Cathedral Ray. Travelers, you have 30 seconds to choose. <laughs> Obvious Grand Cathedral Ray. Choose what? The Cathedral Ray. Oh, yeah, Grand Cathedral Ray just sounds no, bloody military. Don't throw it out against the Mook. I said a bunch. Don't throw it against the Mook. All right, Holy Fist then. Let's <laughs> Holy Fist them. Holy Fist. Mike Hacker, let us show Holy Fist the power. Cathedral Ray. Cathedral Ray. Cathedral Ray. Cathedral Ray. Save the Cathedral Ray for the big guy. Yeah. Oh yeah, there I want to punch him. Okay, okay. them now. I'm yeah. kind of reconsidering. Okay. Okay, maybe, you know, yeah, yeah. maybe not punching them. There's too many. Let's fucking punch them. Okay, hold up, hold up. Your time has expired. Actually, yeah, we should get to the Cathedral Ray. Um, it was Wait, what you said? Sam's up. Sam's up. I call on you. Before we learned the name, Sam's up. We all died horribly. Uh, sure. Silent Row. Of course. I've been there. What will the mother do? <sighs> oh there. Um uh, I will say holy choir storm, why not? I don't I don't know. Oh Holy Choir Storm. Rain fire. The magenta mech ascends high, disappearing into the storm above. Bright yellow beams begin flashing rapidly from within the clouds. With a loud, loud crash of thunder, the mother rockets down from the sky, covered in golden ether bolts. Her wings mimic a chorus crescendo through the wind as she rams head first into the group, <laughs> decimating the enemy. All enemies destroyed, ether amplifier charge increased by 25%. <laughs> Fuck yeah. 
Good stuff, good stuff. I love you, Kojima. Oh, Power Rangers. <laughs> um, an alert goes left. off in the cockpit. <laughs> an alert goes off in the cockpit. Warning, eight hostile lock-ons detected. What do I do? Travelers, the, the gray left. army attacks. What will the mother do? Divine impact. Sounds good. There's a, there's so sounds good to me. Time. Divine the impact. Oh yeah. Yeah, yeah, divine impact. Divine impact. Divine impact. Divine impact. Divine impact. Divine impact. Send them to hell. Suloka, I call on you. What will the mother do? Divine impact. The mother's mech's wings extend as it begins charging up with ether. She swings a leg high, then brings it down hard, striking the earth. The shockwave travels underground, then explodes upward under the enemy group in a burst of molten rock and ether. All enemies destroyed. Ether amplifier charge increased by 25%. <laughs> Anime! Give him the hell, boys! Oh, shit! Power Rangers go! Guys, besides... More coming! More bastards! Warning, 12 hostile lock-ons detected. The Grey Army attacks. What will the Mother do? Grand Cathedral Unleash the flame of honor! Grand Cathedral Ray! Grand Cathedral Ray! Send them to Jesus! Grand Cathedral Ray! 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 Grand Cathedral or Grand Cathedral Ray. Which will the mother do? They say Grand Cathedral Ray. Mm-hmm. Very well. Oh. They touch it the up. Rain. The Magen, the mother's mech, clasps its hands together as if in prayer. An enemy swings and... An enemy charges and swings at her head. The giant sword hits only air as her after image fades in place. The soldier looks up to witness his now airborne foe encased in a golden ether vortex. The mother's heart beats with the warrior's <laughs> song. The wings stretch wide. She prays only to herself for the strength to save her daughter. The metal hands open toward all that would harm her angel, and she answers her own prayer with divine retribution. Enemies remain. Ether amplifier, ether amplifier charge increased by 10%. Oof. 60%. And Grand That one must have been heavenly fist. Down. Oh well. Ah, uh, yeah, that one needed to be <laughs> heavenly fist. I am sure it will still be fine. I right. trust oh my God, it's look up. charge. <laughs> it's gonna rain. Well, we're on the anything. good ending anyway. It's going to be. No, it's gonna rain soon. So, I'm just not worried. goes off in the cockpit. Warning: six hostile lock up. Sixteen hostile lock up lock ons detected. Oh, the gray Six army attacks. This. What will the mother do? This was great. Oh, heaven's fist. Ray. Stop sixteen. Heaven's fist. Move closer, Jenna, so they might <sighs> see you, so they can call on you. Do Show them the fist the wall. Or... Hmm. Yeah, the only option we have is fisting. I'm do not so fist them like that. I know what I can do. Fist them. I cast fist jam transfusion. May I call on you? Jam transfusion. May I call on you? Your name has been spoken. I think they are mute. You may pass if you wish. Or you may type an answer. <laughs> I think they're typing. Yep. Your choices are <laughs> Holy Choir Storm, Divine Impact, 
heaven's fist or grand cathedral ray. Fist. Take the fist. fist. <laughs> Don't take that out of context. This you hand of ours is burning red! Fist him! <laughs> we gotta oh fist our enemy! <laughs> the, the mother's <laughs> mech raises its arms though? skyward. The mother's mech raises its arms wrong, skyward, so and a golden so lightning right. bolt strikes the fist. The mother moves into a warrior's stance, and golden arcs crackle down the body. On the offensive, she tears into the center of the rear formation with a flurry of brutal combos and ending with a thunderous uppercut which sends the whole group flying. Enemies remain. Ether amplifier charge increased by 10%. Yep. Seven. We about to create yeah, fast dash their asses. Good. Yep. Holy shit, there's Hello. a bunch of them. Hey, Encephalon, am I giving us a hand here? Travelers. <laughs> <coughs> foe after foe charges the mother and she takes them down with ease the battle continues while mother protects us let us exit the mech back to the ground this way my friends Return the, the cube. ground everyone. everyone mother knows best follow the cube time to Famous follow the cube. cube mother knows best hey. oh we won well, we got out of that barely Shit. alive Okay. We made it out of our lives with no ease, man. We hit it with so ease. Is everyone <laughs> intact or is someone missing a limb? I lost my limb. Who's missing, oh, missing a limb? I don't like to speak with it. I'll tell I you who's missing okay. limbs. The rest of them. <laughs> That's okay. I'm just missing an arm. Uh, I think we might need to put Ether in, ther in therapy. He's getting a little too much enjoyment in his. <laughs> in the. Getting a little sadistic. Well, you're getting too yeah, much yeah, enjoyment. Yeah. You should try being a tour guide. The story continues. You gotta be kidding me. I feel scorched. I mean, it's kind of a wreckage <laughs> of shredded and melted steel at its feet. The mother's <laughs> mech stands tall, ready to shake the heavens. And the heavens do shake. A fiery red beam strikes down from the clouds. She narrowly dodges it as the surrounding area is annihilated. She looks up through the smoke to witness the abominable airship finally show itself. Not even in this powerful machine would she stand a chance, she thinks. It will shoot her down if she runs. What does she do? Is this the end? Suddenly, an alarm goes off in the cockpit. <laughs> Warning. Phase space logic rewrite detected. Class 7 anomaly approaching at extreme speed. What? What now? The mother questions. Another ship? Not, not the Dark Monument? This... This ether reading is... Impossible. The mother turns to check on her daughter. Safe. Asleep. What's happening? My friends, before the sun rises, let's join the daughter in a new dream. <coughs> Not a Welcome nightmare. Welcome Not a nightmare this to time. the grand finale of the tour. Oh, <laughs> this is now this is where the fun begins. This is where the fun begins, everyone! We're not quite yet. Stay. Nobody Where are stay, we? Stay. 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 Everyone stay. stay. No one. This dead. is the psychedelic Hold. hall. Hold. What? T-pose. Oh, T-pose, so everyone. Get the full time <sighs> scorching forward. Let me in. I want to What is this? The burial of the of the field of theories. Sorry, friend. There's no goat dad for you. Is it from Undertale? Sorry, no goat dad for you. See ya. Oh, hey, Shane. The story We're good. continues. Oh, there, King Trump. The figure feels the ground rise to their feet. Their senses come together one it's by one, aware 
once again. A warm light greets their eyes. The shine splits the darkness. The figure steps into it, and the cold void quietly falls away. My friends, <clears throat> let's follow the figure into the light. This way. Yes. Everyone into the barrier from Undertale. Falling into the light is a good thing. <laughs> Never thought I'd be running towards the light. sits bathed under sacred white light. The figure's mind struggles to understand the infomorphic structure, perceiving it as a gate. Waiting patiently nearby is the familiar shimmering heart. Its colors friendly, innocent, wholesome. The gate opens and the heart flutters through. The figure follows. What the? It's time. Oh, we're going to the wait, green. Wait, one. What the hell? All right, nobody oh, moves. Yes, my favorite place. Darkness. What is this? A boss fight arena? No, it's my favorite. No, the darkness, the darkness. Only source of light loses your soul. The figure thinks, while placing their hand on a metallic wall. They don't finish the thought and move quickly to explore. Travelers, this way. Do not run ahead of Sheen. You must stay behind him. Calm and orderly people, calm and orderly. Calm and orderly, single four, single four, single four. According to the class, alphabetically, come on, let's go, let's go. I think you're gonna sneeze. Alright. Yeah, okay, pass. Manus, if you're. Manus, you're legally. Oh, you poor soul. Tell us if you're lurking in the dark. Got me excited here. Can't wait to see what this is. I think we missed the door. Oh, wait. Oh, shit. Door, door, door. I didn't see this. It was a door, just not the right door. It's yeah. not really a door, it's just a wall. Stank and file! Rank and file! I guess we can just go inside. Man, why does this place remind me of something? Right. This place definitely reminds me of something. Down the stairs. Oh, down, down the, the stairs. stairs. Down, down the stairs. stairs. Down the stairs. Down the stairs. Down the stairs. Oh. What the? Are Is we on a ship? Oh, a reactor. I think we are. Oh. Hello. Hi there. A heart. Never seen an operating oh. system like this. I thought you were part of it. Get off the controls. Oh uh, boy. All I need is a hammer. Lord, I ask no. Don't <laughs> <laughs> oh, worry. Delta Frame, deal with this. We know what we're doing. Oh. You do know what you're doing, right, Delta Frame? I have run through oh, all of this to develop my mind. Set up a mute. Guided me to this moment. My dear travelers. Yes. The story continues. My ears are open with clogged. Where? The fig.
You'll die eventually. Don't disagree with it. Well, let's get moving. We're exposed here. I just say it's hey, uh, time. Right back. <laughs> Limiters unlock. Where's Darth Vader when you need him? He's gonna the carry that shit down. Travelers, your attention, please. Gather around where you can hear. Make sure you have world music turned on. Just give me like like ten minutes. The story continues. The legendary ship flies high and true, closing in on the outpost in a thunderous flyby. Okay, good, you made it. Good. Fires on the gray army. I timed out for some reason. Just kicked me out. Dark ship of terror rises from the clouds. That sucks. Gives chase, and thus, travelers, your final battle: airship versus airship begins. The pilot shouts out to the travelers, "Are you ready?" I Thanks up close, starboard side. The pilot has the following actions available. Fire torpedo, fire ether cannon, evasive maneuvers, charge the ether amplifier, heavy artillery, and overdrive ship. You have 30 seconds to choose. Heavy artillery. 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 Heavy I got what if I want to use the small ones as artillery? I don't know who you are, but you're cool. Yeah, so, yeah, so we only have each of these options once. So we need to be smart with them. Time is expired. So we can't. So, hold up. Okay, hold up, hold up. The Forkster Kasai. The Forkster Kasai. May I call on you? Yes. I will take the. I will take the option of artillery. Happy story, baby. Yeah. The dark monument opens fire with its heavy guns, and the legendary ship counterattacks with heavy artillery cannons. It's behind us! Bloody shit! Fucking government! I don't care who they send, I'm not paying my bloody taxes! Alright! <laughs> I think taxes are the least of our concerns. It's beyond our concerns. That's them! That's the IRS! They're coming for us! Coming here is hard. Okay, yeah, Harry, you made it. It's over, oh, Dorky Monument! We have the high ground! <laughs> They're, we're in the, they're in our blind spot. We need to take evasive maneuver. Kind of ram us. Nope. Not yet. Shoot our engine. We better. If we do 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 if we an overdrive shift. What will the pilot do? Oh, definitely evasive maneuver. Overdrive shift. Maneuver. Overdrive shift. Overdrive shift. Evasive maneuver. 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 Evasive maneuver.
So we, there's someone fell off the ship. Can you see that? Ray Edge. I'll be back. What will the pilot do? Well, he picked someone. Ray. Oh, we lose. Yes. Okay. Overdrive okay. ship. Your choice. Oh. Shit. Who would he pick? I'll travel this. Prepare for evasive maneuvers. Evasive maneuvers. Very well. Oh, shit. I got. I'll take. I have See? a shot. We can survive this. Watch okay. this. Overdrive this is what we call a pro gamer move. But we can do this one. The pilot prepares yes. to perform Correct. evasive maneuvers. But before she can act, the dark monument rams the legendary ship hard. Brace. Bruh. Oh, crap. Hold on, Jake. Oh, 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 shit. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Oh, Travelers, this way. This is your fault. Get up! You got your you got you. Well, <sighs> ah, shit. We took some yeah, heavy damage died. in the back. As long as, long as our engines are there. not fried, we'll be fine. Probably not the best hey, spot to at least they kissed our ass. Hey, oh, oh, shit. They're, they're, they're gone! This, this would have been evasive maneuver. The this dark is evasive monument this. Maneuver. dives but, below uh, the clouds uh, out yes. of sight. What Here will the pilot do? Just for the fun of things. And because I've locked the ending, I will go ahead and open up all choices for any round of this battle. Equalization. My dear friend, equalization. Tell me, what will the pilot do? <laughs> Yippee ki yay, motherfuckers! Evasive maneuvers! <laughs> Again! <laughs> hey, 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 it's time to charm, buddy! Oh, yeah. Yeah. Dodge! Hopefully, a guy's not. I hope you're not here motion sick! What does that mean? My friends. Alright, here we go. The legendary ship executes evasive maneuvers to avoid incoming plasma fire from below. Hold fast. <laughs> Yeah. 
Discharge. Wicked What's up? Necro, may I call on you? Yes, sir. Ooh, what shit. will the pilot do? Oh shit. Charge you for uh, Damn. Yeah, I didn't even push. realize my voice mod was on. Shit. <laughs> Ooh, voice reveal. To redirect power. The pilot okay. charges the ether amplifier. Just after she presses the button, she is hit with a sudden mimetic attack, which knocks her away from the helm. But it doesn't matter. The amplifier is now fully charged. The pilot recovers, gets back on her feet, and takes back the helm. Nice. Good job, pilot. Good job, pilot. Good job, pilot. Good job, pilot. Can't you hear a compliment? Suddenly, the pilot calls out to the travelers. Yes, ma'am? Hello? Ma travelers, listen. Yeah? I need your help. My sensors are picking up troops mobilizing inside the dark monument. They are going They're to board us. us. I can divert power to the ether crystal's field effect for 60 seconds. I won't be able to move the ship during this time, but it should be enough for you to interact with this world and fight. Be brave, travelers. Protect the ship. I believe in you. Oh boy. Bring it. <laughs> hey, hold on. Let me take. Yeah. Yeah. That time, Tom. <laughs> Down with you. See you out there. Oh my god. Nice. Yeah, that was fun. I had to have my like sight down and everything. I had to figure a man to win this war. Wait, what? Does someone say I had to figure a man to win this war? I think I know what we're all gonna do with this. Soup cube? I literally have a So do I. No, Oh, he's over there. Torpedoes. I think this is torpedo. This is torpedo. Yes, this is torpedo. Well done, travelers. You have successfully protected the legendary ship. Now, the dark monument soars overhead. Now, port side of the legendary ship. The pilot has 30 seconds to act. What will she do?
enthusiastic friend, L-Man, tell me, what does the pilot do? Fire torpedoes! I mean torpedoes. Fire torpedoes! <laughs> torpedoes! <laughs> Fire torpedoes! <laughs> My friends. Yeah. The pilot reaches for the button to roll down the window, and she quickly grabs a bag of Tostinos and eats them out of the window. And she fires a torpedo. Forgot the Right up the asshole. Right to the end. Yes. Well, I mean, we'll probably keep it. Right at the engine. The dark monument. I rescued the pizza rolls. Bad travelers, stay here. Uh -oh. Bad news, I'm not sure. Oh shit, it's Whoa. only this way now. Stay here, travelers. No. Remain. Hold. 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 Hold the line. Hold. Huddle. Huddle. Behind, Behind us. Moving. Oh my god. Oh. Duck. Oh. oh. Whoa. It's a oh. 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 What's happening next? <laughs> The dark okay, monument no, suddenly falls behind before rocketing past the bow, nearly colliding with the legendary ship. The pilot has 30 seconds to act. What will she do? Eat the cannon, we charged it up. Now we get the cannon. I really want to call this one out. I really want to call this one out. Eat the cannon. The cannon. The Eater Cannon. Look at Eater Cannon go straight through him like a kebab. Activate the Eater Cannon. Sinead. I found our animal. Sinead, may I call on you? Sinead, may I call on you? You may. What will the pilot do? Fire the Eater Cannon! Slay the beast. Sees that the ether amplifier is fully charged, and she brings her hands together, rounding them in a ball close to her waist, and she begins to chant. Ka me. <laughs> oh my God. Oh my God. The dark monument it's takes heavy down, damage. John? Travelers this way. I'll look at you, people. Uh, Wait, it's not done <laughs> yet? Oh no. no. I don't need a rearm. Uh, that ship was built to last. It needs Same just thing. a little bit more. This is a three hour tour, so. Fire the death <laughs> beam. Like, what? Huh? Oh that crap, so boss far. music. <laughs> Who died? Death music. Uh oh. What? No, 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 Travelers, the story continues. Yeah, I, I, I'm, I'm twice. The dark hey. monument's mech fleet suddenly appears and surrounds the legendary ship. Soon, an enormous ether cannon emerges from below the dark ship's deck. Blocked on all sides, the pilot is unsure what to do. 
Travelers, you have one minute to answer the open question. Anything Call is valid. Me. I repeat, any answer is valid. You may discuss now. Your time begins. We need to call we out. Need to call call out. out. The 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 bomb. Yeah, kill bomb. Yeah, kill bomb. Nuclear explosions. Call out the mother. We need reinforcements here. Call out to mother. Okay, I thought you were actually part of this. And you're all that's great. Okay, that's actually really well done, man. Well done. It's also not that I think that you're going to be working on it. Fair enough. Well, excellent surprise. That was a close call. Oh, my God. My grandma, grandma can beat up any fucking mess because they're inside a mess. We'll see. Okay, exactly. Yep. Call out Nine, two months. Eight, oh, mother. Seven. Seven. Six. Five. Oh, boy. Five. Four. 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 Three. Two. One. One. Okay. Goku God. Three, two, five, six. What oh, will the pilot do? We call Goku. I thought you were going to summon him for a second. It was Goku. Yes! Call out the mother! Give mother your Send energy! Her energy. Oh. How would you guys have oh. to get off? Raise your hands, everyone! Call out to mother! I can't! I can't! Raise your hands! Call with your fire spirit! Raise your hands! 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 Trusting yes. the travelers, oh, the pilot radios yeah, a distress signal to mother. The signal connects. Mommy, mommy, mommy. Yes. Call me, mommy, please, mommy. <laughs> mommy. Calling the mech mommy, pilot, call fighting the gray them. army. This is a resistance mommy. ship engaged with the dark monument. Do you copy? I am surrounded by the dark monument's fleet. Requesting your urgent support. Do you copy? I repeat, I am surrounded by the Dark Monuments fleet. Please assist. There's no the answer. Still using Skype? Oh, but no. the pilot <laughs> can give nervous breathing. Travelers, I beg of your silence for the next part. Listen carefully. I repeat, this is... This is the pilot of the legendary ship from the story your daughter dreams of. I know she is asleep in the back seat. I know you are afraid and that you only want to protect her. Listen, this sounds impossible, but your daughter has the power to manipulate probabilities, even reality. You know this is true. Her hope was strong enough to make her dream real, to create life and bring me into your world. I have her memories of the pilot she loved. Memories of adventures she dreamed of. Memories of other worlds that he when daddy read to her about. I have her memories too. I have shared growing up with her. She has called me here to save you. I've nearly defeated this monster, but now I need you to save me, mama. Should I help you? The sudden reveal of the mother's voice stuns the pilot, and she raises a hand to cover her mouth. I don't know how you know about my daughter, or why you would say such things, but if what you say is true, why should I help you? Travelers, how will the pilot answer mother? It's a good thing to do. 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 Logically, if that thing survives, everyone is fucked. 
Absolutely, I agree. Sure, you're right. But it's still the good thing to do. Pile of gammon. It's the good thing to do, buddy. It's a good thing to do. Come on. It's a good thing to do. It's a good thing to do. Remember the guy from Blue Clues? He said, he once said, The pilot. It was a good thing to do. The pilot answers. I'll always help people. Because it, it's the good thing to do. A moment passes, and the pilot holds her breath as she watches the radio. The mother speaks. Angel, Mama's coming to save you. <laughs> <laughs> oh, music! Yo, Mama! Music change! There! There she is! Hearing! Mama! Yeah! Kick their ass! <laughs> You missed the whole thing. Sorry, my headset died. Oh, you missed the whole thing. I had it on like. You said the funniest shit ever. Rip on the new one. one. Sorry, man. Sorry, I can't speak to you. Follow her! Quickly, oh, she's heading towards the ass! ass. Gonna cry. To the back. She's this rising the from the clouds! <laughs> This is the most powerful character. Saying the first. It's one tapping these guys. It's not her first time. You know me. There's a good one for the Bowser. Murder on the Sunday driver. Just one. Else, <laughs> everyone. And now we're next. Off the bow of the dark monument. There we go. Don't fire. We'll fire at the oh, ship. Oh, oh, yes. Do it. It's the Lord oh, Jesus Christ. Shit. He's returned. Self destruct? No. Oh shit. <laughs> the old F U cannon. Yeah. That's the burning yeah. cathedral ray. Yeah. <laughs> Code name the F U cannon. And that's a Kamehameha. I ordered the extra crispy. Oh, oh. Ah, I guess. Oh, there we go. Can't Anyone else feel the intense desire to convert to Christianity? Ruin them. Make them waste all their money. Was the last time you saw God? Wait, were we over Ohio? I think we were over yes. Ohio. Ah, oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, let it burn. Oh. I hope it's not over Ohio. That's where my boyfriend Worst is. Worst place to go before you die. Oh, oh, <laughs> my condolences. I hope it was on like the very like tiny small edge of Ohio, like right before you. And then it landed in the Suez Canal. It landed on the orphanage. No one loves them anyway. I hope that was Florida. Well, I want a pint after that. Anyone else? Yes. Oh, yeah. I'll drink to that. I agree to alcoholism. Travelers, gather around where you can hear. 
the store. Better be a bar nearby. Turkey. What a way to have a bar. Fuck yourself, Turkey here. We're having the Thanksgiving gray already. Most powerful weapon goes down in flames as a bright monument of hope seen across the sky for miles. My friends, please use the whole save point. The what? Why is it over here? Because you need an exercise. Yo. Uh, in the skies, buddy. We're on a cloud. Hey guys, <laughs> oh, <laughs> no, I see the one you mean I've been in his oh. dropping hey, superstars being I'm all high. Being Thanksgiving dinner. <laughs> the laws of the universe. Man, I'm gonna so fucking shit out of that rope so on there. <laughs> sky is calm and clear. The mother looks back to see her daughter slowly blinking as the light shines over her sleepy eyes. Mama? 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 Where's the pilot? She's here. I dreamed you were with her. I know, Angel. I know. The mother says calmly. The daughter scrambles out of her seat and over to her mother's lap. There, she looks over the clouds to the horizon, her hopeful eyes searching from left to right. Where is she? Why can't I see her ship? Suddenly, the console signals an incoming transmission. The mother looks at the blinking light. Is it her? Is it her, Mama? The mother checks the sky and slowly presses the button, accepting the connection. <laughs> calling for survivors, <laughs> calling for survivors. I repeat, this is the Ethos Coalition Search and Rescue Party. Transports have been dispatched to the Great Forest region. Calling for survivors, I repeat, this is the Ethos Coalition Search and Rescue Party. We... We are alive, the mother answers. We hear you. Transports are landing on the coastline at the Great Forest Edge. Can you make it there? That won't be necessary. I will fly to you. Uh, fly? Ma'am, are you piloting something? We have reports the dark monument was destroyed. Was that your vessel that took it down? No, it... The daughter interrupts. For the pilot and the legendary ship, together with Mama, they stopped that bad monster. The mother motions for her daughter to be quiet. Ma'am, if that's true, you have saved this entire region. Whatever you're piloting, I'm getting orders to lead you directly to Ethos HQ. Sending coordinates to you now. Why is your location up in the sky? Are you scrambling my scanners? Ma'am, no. This is how to survive the gray. These are coordinates to the aerial city Shabbat. The daughter holds her mother's hand and nods. Shabbat, Shabbat, Mama, that's where I have to go. Having finally found a safe refuge, they fly off to the sky's horizon. Oh shit! Oh man, that was a whole day. Man, it's all a gas! 
I was going to do something funny. Come on. Come back here. Oh, you hide. I was going to go big for a second. Go behind it. We get Hello? Is this thing on? Traveler, hello? Yes. Hi, Captain. We're here. You're coming in. Captain, here. Travelers, I'm afraid. I'm afraid I'm fading from this world. What? But, huh? I want to give you something as thanks for not giving up and never losing hope for her. I won't be needing this anymore. Bing. That. What is this? What is this? Uh, oh, it's a bingo. Crystal. What is that? Get the crystal. Yeah. Oh, oh, this is my new fish. This is my new fish. <laughs> no. Oh my god. Oh, no. oh, Quick, so we can turn this. We can, no. Hey, we can turn this into a weapon. <laughs> Wait, into a blade! Oh no, hey, let's research it. Oh, 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 I know I am supposed to read it to you. It says, Raise your glass to sacred names in narratives we love, Gun and the door me. of trust will open through old numerology. Hmm. It's over. It's finally over. That was not easy. That right, family went through a lot. You all went through a lot. But as long as we don't give up, there is always hope. Yes, you mustn't ever give up, Traveler. Well, I'm off to a new adventure. Don't worry. I know that we will meet again. <laughs> Fair skies, Captain. Everyone, Fair skies, Captain. Happy remember, trails. Wait, they remember the Farewell, trail. pilot. <laughs> It's a, it's a good thing to do. Welcome to the good ending of the pilot. Yeah. 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 We did it all. Yeah. Good ending. Yay. Is there a barber somewhere? Go. Is there a bar? Need to join me. Need some traveler. May I beg for your attention, just for, just uh -oh. for. A few moments. Mm -hmm. Apologies. Yes. I'm a bit out of breath and breaking character. 10,000 You apologies. did amazing <laughs> tonight. Catch your breath, mate. It was great. It's it's been been a, it was been a great so night, I'm not gonna lie. Amazing as well. Born, it my was my friend. Money. Wait. Before anyone says another word, please, everyone, put your hands together for my assistant tour guides who helped me my world builder Nick and tonight's NPCs Wario and La Luigi. No. I'm not waiting. That vision will haunt me for the rest of my days as a cube. My friends. <laughs> my friends. We are VR travelers. And we create immersive story based tours with original writing, beautiful worlds voice acting, and 100% wholesome team effort. From the bottom of my esoteric heart, I thank you for going through this story with me. For those of you that are new here, 
This story was a puzzle that needed to be solved, and the good ending was impossible to unlock without correctly answering all questions that are asked in this story. But because it is already solved, we have forced the good ending today. Basically, Thank yeah. you to those of you no, that I have see the bad helped us unlock that in the past. And thank you to those newcomers on YouTube that have stayed with us to the end. If you like what we do and you want to support us, please consider joining our Discord. There, you may find information about our other tours, clues to the connecting lore of all of our stories, and we ask that you post the photos or comments from today's story there. Your comments mean everything to us because it helps us grow and powers us forward. Finally, if you really, really love us, I encourage you to check out our Patreon. The link to it is in the info <laughs> channel of our Discord. Sorry. Our tours are Shut up and free take our money. Shut up and, take our money. and will always be free. <laughs> but joining our Patreon will allow you to play NPCs in our tours, like Wario and Waluigi from tonight. <laughs> joining the Patreon <laughs> will also grant you sneak peeks into our upcoming projects and tours that I'm writing, like The Painter 2. Oh, shit, I Our Patreon shit. is only three dollars wow. per month. My friends, thank you <laughs> again. I will now rest for a few minutes and be AFK. When I return, I will open a portal to the after party back at our headquarters, <laughs> the rendezvous. But for now, my dear friends, the clouds are yours. Don't forget the group photo. I don't like being in heaven. Yeah. Oh, right. Sorry, sorry, sorry. sorry. I forgot. Sorry, I forgot about the group photo. You were just in for literally hours. It's understandable. I will stand next to the crystal and let the photographers take take it from here. Apologies. I will warn everyone. There is a potential possibility the wham will return. No. Oh, shit. Come next to Ian. Yeah, it's a guarantee. Yeah, baby. Right, make sure. Go sit on Randolph's shoulders. Short people at the front, tall at the back. You know the drill. Oh, man, my arm is broken. I think I've mastered that battle. Jesus Christ. Hey, I can, I can do it. I can go smaller. Hey, hey, you're right. You're right. You're fine. Hey, 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 Oh, 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 oh dear. Oh dear. Oh no. Is that an actual camera asset? <laughs> That's like an actual camera. Nice. <laughs> oh, my battery's about dead. I should probably be taking off now. Okay. Travelers, I'll go ahead and drop the portal now. See ya, Gordy.